Hello, welcome to Easily Influenced. My name is Christy and this channel is going to be all about how I am easily influenced by all the social media accounts out there. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, you name it. So we're sucked into those and while we're over there, we're finding great tips, life hacks, and that's where Easily Influenced comes in. I'm gonna be sharing those with you because I know a lot of you don't have TikTok, don't like to go on Facebook, maybe aren't interested in Instagram. So I'm gonna compile all of those right here on this channel for you. So go ahead, subscribe, hit the notification bell so when I upload, you'll know. Remember to comment down below what type of video you would like to see next. That's what this is all about. This is our channel. We're gonna come over here, hang out, and have fun. Remember, I do have another channel and it is going to be just my name, Christy Davis. It's gonna be weight loss, low carb, and keto related. If you'd like to follow my journey over there, I'll have it linked in that description box down below. And if I have any discount codes or any links to products that I'm talking about, they'll be down there as well. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. But before I do, I need to mention that if I found these on TikTok or under someone's social media accounts, I will be linking them below or at least acknowledging them with their influencer name so you can go check them out because none of these hacks are my own and they deserve all of the credit. Look over my mess and myself. I was in the middle of cooking, but I wanted to let you know, apparently we have been using a can opener wrong, or at least I have my entire life. Did you know you're not supposed to put your can opener to the side, clasp it down, and then twist the handle? <laughs> nay, nay, that's wrong. Thanks, TikTok. You're supposed to clamp this down on the top of your can. What? So how this works, take your can opener, you're gonna put it to the side. See this? This is gonna open right here so that you're not getting those sharp edges and you don't have to dig out that lid with a knife or a fork. Open it up, clamp it down on the side so that the sharp piece is gonna be right here. Clasp it shut, then twist your handle. Are you ready to see this? It's went across, seared it, and it just pops right off. What? They should be teaching this in elementary school. Seriously, folks, this is something we should have known way before now. Is it just me or did you guys already know this? All over TikTok, it's showing that there is a tip to get these to peel a lot easier. 99.9% .9 of the time when I boil eggs, still gonna be on the stove. I'm old school and I know you can do them in the Instapot. I even have that Dash hard boiled egg maker, but what do I do? I put them on a pot on the stove. Do you know what I have a hard time getting done? Getting these things peeled. For some reason, it's always hit or miss. What you need to do is have your water already hot, boiling, so that you can go ahead and stick these in immediately. You're gonna take your egg and you are going to tap and put a little crack in it. Being honest, this is the part that scares me the most. I have a feeling it's gonna go everywhere. So, little crack. Once you have your little crack, you go ahead and drop it in the water. Now I'm just gonna add it to the water. Let it boil, it's around eight or nine minutes. Now that it's done, we're gonna go ahead and remove it. We are going to put this in a container with a lid. It's gonna be filled with cold water, not all the way up to the top. See, the container is just a regular container. You can see how much water's in there. It's gonna have the twist on lid. That's what they used in the video. So that's what we're gonna try. Gonna add your lid, and once you do, you wanna make sure it is screwed on tightly. You're gonna shake, shake, shake. Now we're gonna take off the lid and see if this really works. Let's take this egg out. No shell whatsoever. This has always been the hardest part for me. I know peeling an egg, you would not think it's hard, but seriously, we have lost so many good egg whites to trying to peel an egg. And this 
worked absolutely perfectly. All of the shells right there, it's already cleaned it off, ready to make deviled eggs or egg salad. Okay, I'm loving this one. I can't wait to tell Chris about it when he gets home. Do you detest taking out the garbage as much as I do? Well, today I'm gonna show you how to make it fun. No, I'm not. But I'm gonna show you the right way to put in a garbage bag. I'm shocked. I am 47 years old. Chris, 51. We had no idea. We had no idea. Do you know what this is? Yeah, yeah you do. It's trash bags. It's a massive roll of trash bags. We buy them in bulk, always have. It's just easier. That way we don't have to buy them every single week. But did you know that these trash bags, when you pull them off of the roll, and you get your individual trash bag that it's inside out, inside out. Why would they make it inside out in the first place? There's our seam. Yeah, yeah. This outside of the bag that you see is supposed to be the inside of the bag. Unfortunately, I do not have the box anymore that these trash bags came in or I would read to see if there were instructions. Well, first of all, a little hack or little tip that Chris has always done, he sticks extra trash bags down in the bottom so that we don't always have to dig one out. But like I was saying when we were outside, this is the inside of your trash bag. See? So instead of putting it in normally, like we always have, or at least I always have, you guys may know how to do it. I just didn't. It's TikTok University. That's how I know this. So I've always opened it up and just put it on like a normal person, but you're not supposed to. You're supposed to flip it over. You're supposed to put it on and then push it down. What? Now see, your seam is on the inside like it's supposed to be. I mean, does it make a difference? I don't know, you tell me. Is this one of those that you're like, hmm? Or are you like, mm, seriously, it doesn't really matter, honestly. Just a little agitated that I've been doing it wrong all of these years. Cause you know, I like to do things the way you're supposed to. I'm a rule follower. <laughs> How do you put your trash bag in? Believe it or not, I did know this hack, but it is circulating all over TikTok again, and you may not. I don't have a food saver, but I do have lots of hefty freezer bags. Got a fruit, got a veggie that is getting ready to go bad. That's in your refrigerator. You wanna go ahead and freeze it. What you need to do is go ahead and get the food ready like you normally would. So my strawberries, I went ahead and washed them, let them dry, and I went ahead and took the caps off. Transfer them to your freezer bag. Go ahead and zip this closed. Leave a small opening and insert your straw. Use the straw to suck out all of that air. Air, not your friend when you are freezing fruits, veggies, pretty much anything if you don't want it to get freezer burned. So now you can just throw these in the freezer now that it's airtight and you're gonna be able to pull these out and use them whenever you want. And this way, I always have some on hand. Did you know that there is a correct way or easier way to peel an orange? No, me either. I guess I just like to make things harder than they really need to be. This is the easy way to peel an orange. Gonna take your orange. You're gonna roll it around to loosen it up. You're gonna take your knife and you're gonna cut off the ends. Basically the top and the bottom. Then you're gonna take your knife and you're gonna cut down long ways, just right down the center of the peel. Not too much pressure. Now all you gotta do is rip it open and you have your sections. How easy is that? I was always digging this with my nails, getting peel underneath my nails, smelling like orange for days. So easy, isn't it beautiful? Mm, wish I'd have known this sooner, especially when my kids were young. They were always eating oranges. Now they can peel their own, but probably need to teach them this trick. Now that they're adults, of course. 
and it's safe for them to use a knife. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all had as much fun as I did. Let me know what was your favorite. I'll see you in the next video. Hope you have a great week. Bye.